Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't speak of one other topic before turning this over to Steve. While we had an excellent year at the Kinder Morgan Companies, both financially and operationally, uh, our units and stocks underperformed the market by a wide margin. Now, perhaps we failed to adequately communicate our story, although we certainly tried, and maybe we did communicate it, uh, and the message uh, was not accepted. I don't know the answer to which it was, but I do believe that particularly at KMI and KMP, <clears throat> these securities are trading at the greatest disconnect to appropriate valuation since the period in 2006, just before we took the first KMI private. Like now, back in 2006, we had an enormous backlog of projects. And like now, many experts opine that we were too big to be able to continue to grow at an acceptable rate. We proved the doubters wrong the first time around, and I anticipate the same result this time. Reflecting this belief in the Kinder Morgan Companies, as many of you know, I've been a buyer of KMI shares. I purchased over 800,000 shares in December alone. So I guess my message to those who saw the story less positively was you sell, I'll buy, and we see who comes out best in the long run.